What's up, everybody? We are coming at you fresh from Feast of Fiction's brand new set. Yay! It's Feast of Fiction 2.0, y'all. 2.0. Still the same Feast of Fiction, just a new set, new backdrop, constructed yes. from scratch. With our own bare hands. Yes, and thank you so much to Alfred for building it, and an even bigger thanks to our patrons at patreon.com slash Fiction. Literally, making this Patreon and having you all sign up is the reason that we were able to upgrade like this, and I think you guys are gonna love it. Every episode from here on out, higher production quality gonna look amazing. Yes, so thank you guys so much for all your support and all your help, and we're so excited to be here. Yeah, today we're making potato leek soup from Ratatouille, one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. I still cry every single time I see one particular scene, but I won't spoil it for you. And the food scenes are so cute in Ratatouille, they're like, all-time iconic, I feel yes. like. Yes, and we can actually borrow so much from the footage because they are very accurate with it. Yes. So let's see what they make in Ratatouille and how we're gonna make it today on Beast of Fiction. Remy encounters a not-so-great smelling soup on his way out of the kitchen and can't help but add his own finishing touches. Luckily for us, the creators of Ratatouille did their home cooking homework and took enough culinary quizzes to give us a hint into what makes Remy's potato leek soup so special. Remy pours in some stock, heavy cream, and a whole bunch of other ingredients, most importantly, leeks, and what looks like a sprig of thyme and a ton of other stuff garlic, salt, and onions. All right, research done, let's cook. Begin by chopping up your leeks and opening them up. Make sure to clean up the insides thoroughly as well because lots of dirt can get trapped inside. Slice up your leeks in semi-large chunks and set aside. A leek is basically a very large green onion, but the larger it is, the less intense the flavor. So it may look like a lot, but it's all gonna add up nicely in the end. Prepare an onion by dicing it. No need to be too particular about the size or consistency. It's all gonna be blended together later. Although you should probably rinse it in cold water beforehand, otherwise you're gonna end up like me every dang time. Wash and peel three potatoes, then slice them up into smaller rectangles. Set this aside and cover with a paper towel so that they don't brown. Finally, take the skins off of a few cloves of garlic, chop two sprigs of celery, and get to combining these ingredients in a pot. Cook them until they're translucent and soft before adding in your potatoes and chicken stock. Stir and bring it to a boil for 15 minutes. Drop in that nice sprig of thyme and use an immersion blender to thoroughly work through the entire mixture to puree it to the same consistency. The longer you puree, the smoother your end result. Look, it's a bubbling cauldron of potatoes and leeks. Last steps are to add in your heavy cream, smoked paprika, salt, and pepper. Serve hot, adorn with some chives and cracked pepper, and voila! I've always said voila on this show because it's French, and just like we see in Ratatouille, that is one country that knows and appreciates the food it makes. So this one's for you, Remy, showing the world that anyone, even a rat, can be a great cook. Bon appétit. Cheers, Ash. Cheers, Wim. Our first meal on a new set. Mm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> I love soup. Me too. Dude, and soup is so good. This was actually really easy to make. We've made a pumpkin puree in the past, mm -hmm. but this, it was so simple. It just takes a little bit of heart and a lot of boiling. You have a nice creamy, thick soup adorned with chives and some pepper corn. Man, perfect for fall, mm -hmm. perfect for winter. Perfect I'm, for summer too, I'll, I'll drink right. some anytime here. Me too, I'm so glad we finally got around to making this. This has been on the request sheet for a long, long, long time, yep. and it does not disappoint. It is delicious, this recipe is amazing. Yeah. This is really good, I think you guys will really enjoy this. It's perfect for dinner with the family, crisp, cool fall weather. Yeah, soups have always been one of my favorite things growing up too, whether or not you make bone broth soup or something a little heavier like this to puree. Just because it does a wonderful job of either preparing you for like the rest of the meal, like a little wet your appetite a little bit, coat the bottom of your stomach with some soup. And it's just, it's great. I love dipping things in soup. It's so versatile. You can have soup with chunks in it. You can have it as purely smooth like this one. There's so many different ways to make soup. It's all good. Also, I feel like this is very hearty mm -hmm. and thick, even though it's not like chunky, but it's still very hearty. And it's got a lot of flavor, you know, onions and celery. Oh yeah. Uh, and olive oil, you know, sauteed makes everything taste good. Yeah, and, and it keeps really well, so you can have it more and more times throughout the week until it's all done. 
everyone is satisfied with their soup. And also semi-sad that it's all done. <laughs> but that means you're gonna make another kind of soup and pumpkin puree is on the table now because Halloween and the fall is here. Yeah, so. what other soups? We've made a pea soup, mm -hmm. we've made a hazelnut soup, we made a mushroom soup for That's Minecraft. Right. Oh my gosh. That's digging back in the That's archives. digging deep. Don't look that one up. That one's on the old set. From now on, only new set. Well, that means there's only like no videos for you to watch except for this one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All of our work of eight years down the drain. Oh, that's right. But moving on, next up, two million subscribers. We know we're getting there. So if you have any friends or family that would appreciate a show like this, make sure you share this with them. You can send it on Twitter, you can email them, you can text it to them. You can even, uh, I don't know, watch it with them. Yeah, Are you an aspiring so chef? Or do you know Thank someone else so much. Come? That's a really good idea. Sharing is caring. Yeah, it is. And Except for soup. You get none of mine. You have your own bowl. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, as always, for suggesting this because, yeah. I don't know, I feel like we've been getting this suggestion since maybe day one. Yeah, it's, well, Ratatouille came out a long time ago and there are so many, I mean, obviously we made the Ratatouille with our, our chef friend Byron, but there are other recipes to approach in here and I love that movie. Of all the Pixar movies, I wish that one had a sequel. Because it would just mean more food and more stuff for us to make for you and, and, uh, and that cute Ask movie. and you shall receive. Everything is getting a sequel That's nowadays. True. So I'm looking forward to Mulan know. 2. Let's make it happen. Ooh, Let's yeah. Get it Big thank you again to our patrons. Sign up at patreon.com slash feast of fiction. You will directly contribute to making the show happen to the beautiful sets we're gonna have as well as the higher quality recipes we can make for you and a cookbook coming out next year as well. And all the fun, really, so you don't wanna miss it. You don't wanna miss it. All right, Ash, to the next generation. To the Beast next of generation of Beast of Fiction. Wait, wasn't that a Pepsi motto? The next generation? It's also the name of Star Trek. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait. Oh, right. You can't, you can't see, see him. him, but... You're to the next generation. To the next generation. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much. And as always, leave a comment below. Let us know what you want to see us make next. Follow us on all the social medias. You don't want to miss out on what's going on. We are thrilling peeps. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. -bye. Bye.